We're officially on the penultimate episode, meaning we got this, the finale, and we're done. So I guess the arc is going to conclude itself with the CGI art, uh, CGI war. Bro, the CGI is like comically bad. Like, I'm starting to understand why a lot of people shit on this anime. Now, granted, I am willing to overlook this shitty CGI and just kind of laugh at it because the story has been fucking amazing. But goddamn, the production value has just, it just, woo! <laughs> ever since we hit core two now what's really going on there's like two separate wars happening right past and present it's interesting how they're handling at the same time kyoya or that that guy it's shun's best friend right back on earth i think he's part of the demon side right they basically showed him the ninja guy as well as some uh, um and i guess the third accounted for that they still don't know about is wakaba but it's very interesting how they still think that wakaba is just dead right the barrier is all gone chigo's fucking popping off okachan is looking pretty bad everyone's kind of losing right now but surely the hero shun is gonna clutch right let's begin today's reaction shun, Okay. Mm. You know, just a funny little thing that I did notice, you know, a couple a couple days ago, or or I'm not sure when I noticed this, but what is the goddess's name of this world? What is the goddess's name? It's it's Sariel, right? Was it Sariella or was it Sariel? Because because if it's Sariel, take out the S. Ariel, Ariel. Sariel, Ariel plus S is Sariel? S, S, S is Spider? Spider Ariel? Hmm? <laughs> it's probably not a big deal, right? It's probably not a big deal, but I was like, hmm, hold the fuck up. Even their names. <laughs> Ooh, more CGI. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, it's the elves. The elves have pretty high tech, huh? Y'all are so fucked, Potimas. What you gonna do, Potimas? Ario. Just to take out Potimas, right? It's to take out Potimas and also get a hold of all the reincarnation? The humans have already served their purpose? What? At this point, let them do what they want. What the fuck? What was the purpose? To draw in the demons? Potimas wanted the demons to show up? Because bro has been like trying to look for reincarnation since the past, like 15 years ago. And now that he's got them all gathered in the elf village, he's saying, it's already been done. They've served their purpose. The purpose was to draw in the demons. This is all a bait by Potimas. All of them? On the field? You're gonna wipe them all out at the same time? What, what, what? Potimas talking big. Let's see if he's that strong. Little girl. Ariel. Why is Potimas so confident? Why is he so confident? Oh, great. CGI Hugo versus CGI Shun. Amazing swordsmanship. Riveting. So Shun's in the lead. The fuck? But Hugo was so confident. Aw. Oh, we're doing pretty well. But shugo has got something else, right? Just kill him. Just fucking kill him right now. Why are you doing this? You know this is gonna fucking backfire. Please just end him. Okay, Dio. Muda, 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 muda. Jinx variety? Magic of the Jinx variety? Oh, what did he gain from defeating that? Power? Nah, Baska should have fucking absorbed dragon power, dude. It's fucking wasted on Shun, but Shun has a dragon power. He did get the final blow, which means just enhanced. It weakens the strength of magic. Damn. Don't tell me Hugo goes down like this, really? I wanted Hugo to shoot on Shun just a little bit, but this is way too one-sided. Dude, he still thinks this world's made for him. The CGI here is like... <laughs> so wonky. Yeah, you're right. Good line, Shun. Good line. Oh, spooky! Negashi! Sophia. Oh. Kill Hugo first. 
Tigo did. Bro straight up was like, it's my fight, Sophia. You can't interfere. And now he's losing. It's like, Sophia, please kill them all. Ooh. Can we just throw away the tool now? Metazophis. The butler. Butler. Metazophis is like Sophia's like, you know, almost like right hand man or something. Okay. Damn. I want to see the butler fight. They know him? Demon Army Commander. Fourth Demon Army Corps Commander. So, does the number have any ranking and power level? Because if we're to assume that the 10th squadron, which I assume is Wakaba, is only like number 10, and this is 4, 4 is higher than 10, so. What? No, no. If we're going in order of 1 is the highest and 10 is the lowest, right? In that level, it, maybe? Maybe not? Yes, you guys were all tools. But this should be still all according to Potimasu's plan. Bro actually didn't know he was being used. Like, why would Sophia just show up out of nowhere when you got all your skills fucking taken away by Okachan? And then she's like, oh, you want to become stronger? Like, don't you think that maybe you're fucking useless? Buzzing? An insect is talking, guys. Something's buzzing. No, we should team up with Sophia and shit on Hugo together. What do you mean stop her? Come on! I mean, she can't really go out of it. She's... Yuri! So Yuri did get healed though, right? She's not dead. It keeps doing this. <laughs> Last episode too, dude. Sophia's it too. <laughs> she just slides right in. Ooh. Yeah, I think they're in a completely different tier. Hugo, you're so annoying. Why are you still alive? Oh. Oh, oh. Nah, he just took him out so that he'd be less annoying to carry, right? He just took him out there. He's, he's just unconscious, right? All right. Oh, what the f She got her own blade? Something like dragon power, her magic negation is even stronger. Maybe it's like progenitor vampire passive. What? <laughs> this should be so epic, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> Hidings, I don't trust you still. Shield man, I still don't trust you. Out of memes. I have friends. Power of Nakama. Oh shit. Giga chat Meta Zofisu. Damn, the slow pan. <laughs> Are her both arms head the head hands cut off? But hey, oh look! No head, there's there's blood squirting out. But it's back. But it's back. The, the, the fingers are gone. The fingers are bad. Wait, 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 wait. No, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. No, 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 no. Come on. Ah, no, no, no. It's, it's not, it's not squirts of blood. It's, it's just the gloves. It's just the gloves. It just looks like, look how, look how like different the size of the hands are here, right? Compared to the rest of her body. I straight up thought it was like splurting blood, but no, it's her gloves. Okay, she's good. Katya's good. Katya's good. See, I can't even know that you knocked away Sensei Zero with two fingers. Actually, I just see you just like kind of just like go like this through the arrows real quick, but you basically just got rid of the arrows. Yeah, what those fingers can do, huh? Occasion, heroic speech, but. Oh. My master, 10 squadron leader, not Ariel Wakaba, right? The era. Oh, wow, Neo, wow. No, 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 not. I like Anna, though. She's actually cool. What?
Okay, so we have the size difference advantage in terms of speed. Hyden, so you monologuing like this is pretty much tripping flags, though. <laughs> These, the arrow, the sound of the arrows being spammed with the lack of the movement of the arrows to throw me off. Look at this. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> nope. <laughs> It's too clean? He's too textbook. That's what she's saying. Okay, on the other side with Nanami or Mera's Wolfies. Or just skip that scene too, I guess. Secret spell! Kati got a secret spell! Wakaba said not to. And to take all the reincarnation back to the demon side. Hmm. You know, you know, Sophia keeps mentioning how Anna, the half elf, is not a reincarnation, so she can die, but like she hasn't really talked anything about Hyden's just yet. And I know that this is probably not a big, you know, important fact, right? Hyden's probably most likely is not a reincarnation, but could you imagine? If Shield Dude is a fucking reincarnation, because Sophia is like not, you know, explicitly mentioning Hydens, you know? <laughs> it, 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 there, there's no shot, but like, you know. <laughs> you know, it'd be insane if Hydens was a reincarnation. It'd be like, what? <laughs> it wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't make sense, right? <laughs> the woman in white. <laughs> Wakaba. I'm still gonna go with it. Again, I told you, 0.1% chance of Hyden speaking of being a traitor. I'm still gonna be suspicious, just in case. Just for the memes. I'm gonna die on this hill. I will die on this hill. Oh, cut your spell! It's like a binding spell? Oh, cut down arrows! That's the weirdest fucking ad break ever. Dude, he had her checkmate, and you went for her fucking wrist? You gotta be kidding me. Dude, I'm not even exaggerating, right? Sophia just said it. You could have gone for the fuck. You should have gone for the head. Dude, look at the position that he was in. And then you went for her fucking arm? You deserve this shit and more shit. You hesitated. Is the magic negation they're talking about Katia's magic negation with the circles in the ground? Maybe? Is that why she couldn't move? Oh! Oh! We do have Faye! We do have Faye! Well, she would spare your lives no matter what because they have to take the reincarnations back alive, except Anne, Anne right? And okay, them too, that's what she's saying. That's the deal. Bay admits that she's way stronger, yeah? Pride, seven deadly sins. Pride again. This is kind of embarrassing. <sighs> that is kind of embarrassing, huh? Like, you as a hero, you brought everyone into this into a fight you couldn't win because of your own selfish pride. Was that being heroic or dumb? At a certain point, being heroic and being stupid, it really depends on, like, what you determine, like, honorable, right? Dying in battle like this, even though it's a battle you can't win to, some people it's honorable, but it's kind of dumb if you kind of think about it, huh? <laughs> yeah, the die before dishonor thing, exactly. See, here's the thing about pride, and, I, and this is a famous line, I forget exactly where I heard it from, but basically it's like pride, you would die because of pride like this, even dogs have pride. They do. But the difference is like, you're either gonna die or you're gonna live. So you, you're gonna just, you know, because of a dumb thing called pride, you're just gonna fucking die? Seems kinda stupid. Is there real honor or anything like, like that? Just dying out of pride? Surrender? How the fuck did a demon lord commander just get fucking Yamcha'd?
Bro, literally has smoke coming out of the background, bro. This is fucked. This is fight. Wild. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Sipping tea. Okay, wait. Sipping tea. Wait, wait. What? Boonshin. Okay, the real Meza Sophia, Me Meza whatever him, he would have actually won. Okay, okay. But you know what? The adventurers are pretty fucking strong, huh? For Cause like I still don't know how to feel about these two characters. I feel like these two characters are pretty strong, but like I have because they just got introduced, it's like Alright, whatever. They almost kind of feel like NPCs. Very useful NPCs, though. I don't think she needs protection. She should be fine. Damn, Meta's office is Sophia. Wholesome scene? And he's gone. Huh? Who, whose voice? Faye, Faye, Faye. Faye. Shun, are you serious? So you fully acknowledge how stupid you are, how naive you are, how selfish you are by letting your pride get in the way. And then after all that, it's like, nope, tripling down. We got to take her out. Bro's main character armor better kick in right now. Dude, if people die here because of Shun, totally on him. You sure you want to do this? <laughs> yes, because Elias Nisa was built deaf. He's an actual hero. You're a fucking boy. <laughs> Main character armor, maybe, <laughs> soon, huh? Whoa, 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 Damn, they got instantly defeated. Shun's best friend Kyoya, right? Damn, look how confident he looks. Yeah. How could you do this, my best friend? Sasajima, isn't that a bunny senpai? Dude, I wish I was in the demon army, man. These guys have, honestly, Sophia, Kyoya, like the demon side. If you got spotted on the demon side, I feel like you're so fucking lucky. Like, fuck the humans, dude. Fuck the elves. Fuck all of them. The demons are fucking sick, man. I wish I got a spawn point like Sophia or like Kyoya. Now, Wakaba. People say that Wakaba's spawn point was really unlucky. Is it really unlucky, though? Being spawned in the Great Elro Labyrinth, having access to all these different monsters that you can power farm and get all these crazy powers. I don't know. Even the fact that... What's his name? Uh, the fact that Ariel is a spider, right? Well, I don't know. Ariel used to be like a divine beast, right? I don't know. But I feel like Wakaba, it's not as bad as she thinks, you know? She, she did have a ridiculous hard time surviving, yes. But if you could survive, the amount of games that you can get, and we've seen it, it's fucking insane, right? True. Straight up, the elves are trash. There's no reason to stay here. The elves fucking put the reincarnations into slave farm work. Okachan is the only reason that we have any ties with the elves, to be honest. Potima's sus as fuck. We shouldn't be here. We should fucking leave. They're all racist anyways. <laughs> entire world are the elves the reason um for the natural disasters remember the dlc package that when we learned about the truth of the history we don't know why the world is coming to a disaster but like are the elves the fucking reason yo wait we we, we know that the elves are against the admins right the elves hate the admins right the elves hate that shit but we haven't got confirmation of what the cause of the the so-called natural disasters if the elves are intentionally causing them then yeah fuck them Ah, I mean, I don't really like the humans either. Okay, to be fair, Yulius took our fucking scarf, right? The scarf and the fucking spider silk. He deserved that. He had that shit coming. Wrath. Kyoya's a commander, Wrath. Now, isn't Wrath also a seven deadly sin? Right? But I'm sure it's just his name. It's not an actual skill he has. Unless he is truly wrathful. That'd be cool. Oh, CG army out of nowhere. She keeps saying Goshujin Sama, man. <laughs> okay. The truth is somewhere in the middle. What the? Elves. 
Right, because the hero actually does hard counter. Even the baby Yuli has kind of threatened Ariel in the past, right? Ah! Uh, oh! <laughs> Who did that, Giga Chat? <laughs> Let's go kill you! <laughs> he just threw a fucking sword at him! Dude, his entire design is so cool, too. Kyoya and Sophia's drip, man. They're so cool. Was that just blood magic? They all fucking disintegrated. Am I crazy for thinking that, um... Uh, yeah, I know, I, I know that she's a vampire, so blood magic makes sense, but like... Am I crazy for thinking that the, the elves having tech like this makes no sense? Like, like, like... This has to be intentional, right? Or is the author trying to tell us? Like, the, the fact that elves have, like, access to, to mecha technology? Even, like, the elf headquarters, right? In the beginning of the episode, the elves headquarters, right? They had a bunch of monitors and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? They live in the fucking forest and, and trees. Like, why do they have this high tech? This has to be a plot point. Why would the elves have this tech, huh? The elves are dangerous to the world. They have this knowledge. Why? They have knowledge of the earth? Who taught them all this tech? Huh. Huh. Are, are these mecha strong? Exactly! What is mecha doing in this world? The only way that you can have this knowledge is if you know of knowledge from, let's say, Earth. But like... The elves are aware of the admins as gods, right? But, like, like if, if the demons had this shit, then I would believe it. Because, like, you know, the, who the demons have? The demons have admin D, you know, people from Earth. That knowledge is available. Well, what else the elves have been trying to do? They've been gathering the reincarnation in order to extract knowledge? Is that what they've been, have Pokemon has been doing? They somehow found a fucking mecha weeb that loves Gundam so much that got reincarnated and he was like, all right, fucking tell us everything about this and how to build it. Why? Bill cares about Sophia. They'll be fine. Oh, I'm kill you. Not Sophia, kill you. My bad, my bad. Post credit scene. Ariel. Mex. Explain to us how mechs exist here. That's the first time I've heard this 10th commander saying thing, right? So far, we've never... This girl... No, no, no. Assuming this is the same voice actor as Vaka, but she has been getting paid proportionately. But I'm like, imagine it's not. And it's just like her first fucking line is like the episode before the finale. Still not opening the eyes. Mm. She only did it once. Why is she always closing her eyes though? Why? And at this point, Grandma Ariel, like 15 years has passed, right? Because in the past, our body schizophrenic is in Grandma, and she's like, shit, I feel like I'm turning into Wakaba, right? That was an entire discussion that even Admin G came to have. At this point, is she just basically turned into Wakaba? I don't know, but it's also interesting how... Ariel and supposed Wakaba in the form of 10 Squadron Commander are always together. Always buddy buddy. Anywhere you see Ariel, she's there. She does not talk like Wakaba at all though, huh? 10 Squadron Leader, right? Does not speak like Wakaba that we know from Season 1. This 10 Squadron Leader sounds like a fucking Kudure Lolly, dude. Mm -hmm. Completely different. Completely different. I don't fucking know! Alright, that's the episode. That's another episode. The war, the CGI war is kind of entertaining to watch. I'm not even like bothered by it. I'm just like amazed at how bad it is and how funny it is because how it's bad, right? The Sophia scenes are great. Don't get me wrong. I actually do like CGI Sophia, but some of the animations gets conveyed in a very awkward way because it keeps switching from CGI to 2D and there's some very awkward transitions. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? I had to like take a, take a, take a, like a, a, a double take like multiple times. But basically, Sophia is trashing everybody. Shuko is done. Yo, Shuko talked all that shit. 
and he's immediately fucking done. Like, what a piece of shit. He's fucking out. Trash, dude. He's not dead yet, though. He's not dead yet. Now, Sophia has a big ass sword, and she basically trounced us and said, Damn, you weak as fuck. You're just prideful, aren't you? You're just, you know, dragging your friends in into a battle you cannot win. And Shin was like, Oh, I am selfish. And then later, Shin just fucking doubles down. Shin's like, Yes, I'm gonna double down. Even if there's a battle that I can't win, I'm gonna get in and sacrifice all my friends. I'm like, what the fuck should I get it? He's trying to be the hero, and a hero should have that kind of pride, I guess, huh? You have to be stubborn. Even if Shun can't deliver, kind of makes sense that a hero would want to at least behave that way. I was kind of excited for Fate to fight, but hey, who shows up? Our friend from the past. Not that I fucking know him. Kyoya, Shun's best friend. His design is so cool. Straight up looks like a Japanese-style Oni, you know, samurai, huh? I, I love the Demon Sides design, you know. Sophia looks great. Kyoya looks great, right? They all look fucking sick. But that's about it. I think that it's really suspicious how the elves, right? Potimas basically... What was Potimas' goal? To gather all the reincarnations before Ariel could in the 15 years ago, right? He was going around trying to see who it was. And now he has high advanced technology. Not just these mechas, but even his HQ. There were a bunch of monitors. Like, he's in the fucking 21st century. But how does he have that knowledge? The only way he has it if he has access to people from other worlds and he's always been focused on reincarnation so maybe that kind of plays into it i still don't trust the elves i'm completely on team demon side and ariel and supposed wakaba is it really wakaba though i don't know i feel like i'm getting fucking baited again i feel like i'm getting just super baited again her identity is a husk of what she used to be she does not act like wakaba from 15 years ago then you could maybe argue that hey 15 years takes a lot of toll on a person's mind and Maybe, I don't fucking know. Maybe Ariel has Wakaba inside and our memories are all together and integrated into Demon Lord. I don't know. Everything is confusing me, but that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.